So I just finished watching the CPC leadership convention and damn, I am I truly sorry, uh, Maxime Bernier supporters. The establishment has friend zoned you again. And he came so close. I mean, so close. 49% of the vote. Damn. Well, at least you're disappointed now instead of five years down the road, um, you know, when government isn't shrinking and all that hard work at getting just the right guy into office isn't paying off. I mean, look, it wasn't going to work. And you probably deep down knew that. You know, the establishment is just too strong. I mean, what did you think the, the CPC was going to turn into some anti-establishment libertarians? Did you, did you think the Canadian people who love socialized medicine and big government programs were going to vote for a libertarian like Mad Max? Did you think shrinking government and winning back Western civilization is as simple as voting or sneaking the right guy into office? Here's how things work, in case you haven't figured it out. The left gets in, ramps up government to a huge degree, gets into your wallet, spends your money, establishes big government programs, and then when the Canadians get tired of the left, they vote in the Conservatives, who promise to get rid of these programs and restore some sanity, but then they end up simply maintaining the status quo. I mean, that's the definition of Conservative, after all. So we can expect government to continue to grow and conservatives to remain completely impotent at doing anything about it. You can't risk losing an election and letting the bad guys win, you see. You can't risk losing voters by rolling back programs in any meaningful way. And so now we've got Andrew Scheer. And Andrew is the nicest, most inoffensive bridge builder leading the establishment party now. Uh, he's a guy who claims to want to put property rights into the Charter of Rights just so he can walk all over them by preventing you from trading with people in China and anyone who doesn't fall within the supply management regime. He's an establishment guy, and so he knows how hard it is or impossible it is to get the Charter of Rights changed. So it's a safe promise to make. He'll never have to act on it. And, you know, he'll get you votes by being all kinds of reasonable if he becomes prime minister. Um, you know, and, and um, the growth of government might even slow down for a couple of years if, if he becomes prime minister. But you didn't support Bernier because he's a safe establishment vote. You voted for him because he represents something new, maybe a chance to turn this Titanic towards a different course and, and avoid some icebergs. And if you think like I do, that a bubble of cultural and economic chaos is being blown up around us, that our way of life is at risk, then you know that the time for playing establishment games is coming to an end. And I, I've made this speech to a few buddies who get into relationships with the wrong kind of women. I'm truly sorry that you've been friend zoned again. It's time to dump the zeros, grab some self-respect, and become your own bloody hero. I mean, if you're interested, in getting serious about turning culture and by extension our government and our nation around please join the libertarian party of canada there, there's a link below uh, this video and run as a candidate pound the pulpit with me i dare say this is your duty as a free-born canadian with a full slate of candidates i'll get on that national debate stage and i will embarrass the establishment